Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see the second-year man, Josh Allen, and the Buffalo Bills as they'll square off against Tom Brady and the Super Bowl champion, New England Patriots. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, it is clear, but it is cold here today as EA Sports takes us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with the Buffalo Bills. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Patriots team entering play. It's been perfection so far. They come in here unbeaten at 14-0. And just two wins away from doing something only two teams have ever done. But the most important thing for them now is to make it to the postseason in one piece. Meanwhile, for the visiting Bills, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes that actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us against the world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in week 16. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. So here are the Bills being led out by their quarterback, the seventh overall pick of the 2018 draft. It's Josh Allen. Of course, the Bills, they've been looking for a franchise quarterback for a number of years, and now they think they have their guy. He certainly had his moments as a rookie, including an impressive win in Minnesota in his second NFL start. They run with a former Jaguar. It's T.J. Yeldon. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. And for this offensive unit that we'll see here in just a second, T.J. Yeldon is certainly someone to mention. Came out of Alabama with a lot of attention, but earned it. This guy is better and better at a lighter weight. Shifty back who can finish with power. From the 30 on second down, Allen. And that's complete to Brown. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. So that one will be accepted. Now Allen throwing on second down. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. The starters defensively now for the Patriots. And they come in a top 10 unit against the pass, currently eighth in the NFL. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top 10 in the league against the pass, but the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this group ever put pressure on the QB, they'd easily move into the top five. Allen, he's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. It's a pickup of 17 on that one, and a Bills first down. Beasley signed with the Bills in March just before his 30th birthday after seven years with the Cowboys, hoping that he can be a very valuable slot receiver in Buffalo. Just under 700 yards last year and three touchdowns in Dallas. Allen now on first down. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. So a we'll look here at the key inactives, and we got this list before the game down on the field. And they tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level. That's when you know you've drafted well, offense. scouted free agents well, and stocked your team just the way you're supposed to. That one goes against Deion Dawkins. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Now Allen off the bootleg. 
Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. Throwing is Allen on third. And that's caught by Beasley. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 39. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They run it from the gun with Yeldon. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Here's a guy coming off a strong rookie season, Gus Edwards. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Allen looks to throw on third and one. And this is going to be incomplete. Yeah, good game catch the bar of the backfield a week ago, and they're going to try and involve him in that way in this game as well. But you can tell scouting has taken over. They're making it a little bit more difficult. That defensively, they told us, hey, we've got to take him out of the passing game, limit it to just short runs, because he can really impact this offense. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And the Patriots come out led by the four-time Super Bowl MVP and owner of a record six Super Bowl rings. Arguably the greatest to ever play the game, Tom Brady. And we keep asking the same questions every year. How much longer can he keep doing this? Is this the year the dynasty crumbles? And every year, Brady comes out and leads his team to the Super Bowl. They've been there now three years in a row, and only one team has made it four. That's the Buffalo Bills. But remember, they lost all four in the early 90s. Pretty much unreal, not just in terms of yardage, Charles, but also throw in the three touchdowns as well. When you put the whole package together, I can make you a pretty good guarantee right now. <laughs> He's going to see yeah. a few more people in the box every time he lines up. Yeah, I don't think that the defense has any choice. They've got to stop him. Can't let a repeat performance like that. Agreed. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. They go play action here on first down. Caught by the tight end, Watson. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the 22, Brady. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Now yeah, let's give you a look here at the New England offense. And a big key is going to be how can these wideouts create separation from the defensive backs because we've seen some early success in the passing game in this one, and that's going to need to continue. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Defensively here, you're facing a top-five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20 because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, give yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Let's go. Let's get this ball back to the offense. Let's go. Hey. 
from the gun. It's Brady. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Benjamin Watson hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Patriots have taken the lead. As far as tight ends go, if you get three or four touchdowns in a season, that's usually counted as a pretty good year. And CD, he just hit double digits. That's 10 touchdowns for him now. Yeah, and that's something you really have to applaud. That's elite level production. Extra point good by Gaskowski. And that makes it a 7 3 lead. So that one, an eight play drive, it spans 75 yards. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. The partner just looking at some of the struggles they've had this season. The playoffs are not in their future. As they start to peer toward the offseason, what moves might they make? I think the running back position, and I know we talk all the time about the NFL being a passing league, but the teams that run the ball effectively, they're the ones that go deep into the playoffs and go to the Super Bowl. They have to upgrade here. And you and I both know in recent years in the draft, People have shied away from taking a runner early, but if there's that special one there, I say they go get it. Allen now on third down, and that will be incomplete. Had to pass there, third and long on your own side of the field, just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short, because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. A big play there for the Patriots. 34 yards to throw is Brady to Michelle on the screen. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Brady now going to leave it with Michelle on the draw. And good pressure defensively to stop him for a loss of a couple. Now there's also a flag to go with it. Isaiah Wynn with a penalty. The former first-round pick back in 2018. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. And now a pass dumped off to his running back. Pass the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Tom Brady with two first-quarter touchdown passes. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly for six. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here, he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who is a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. One after try for Gaskowski. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Hardly any time taken off the clock there. Two plays, and they find the end zone for six points. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. 
sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. 36 yards on the play. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. On the draw is Edwards. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. From the 35 on second down, Allen, it's brought in complete. It's John Brown. Allen now, four out of ten throwing the ball in this first half, but he's got a first down here. Now Allen, Jones has it, and he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now Allen, and incomplete. He tried to leave it underneath, nearly got picked. They may be lucky to have that one back. Third down. Allen to throw once more. Then he finds Beasley, complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Cole Beasley. His sixth touchdown of the season as his guys are back within a single score. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control, and how about the end result? A touchdown. Hauschka with the extra point, and that makes it a 14-10 ball game. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. This fielded at the two, and he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Brady gives to Michelle. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Shotgun now for Brady. That's to his running back, Sony Michel. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. 21 yards there on third down. From midfield, here's Brady. That's complete to his running back, Burkhead. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. They'll run with Michelle. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Now Brady. He's able to find Edmund. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 27-yard line. Brady now nearly perfect. Nine of ten in this first half. It's first and ten. On the ground is Michelle. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. He's brought down by a 
On second and one, Brady. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. On the ground, this is Michelle. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. On first and 10, here's Brady. Complete to Watson, the tight end. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. On second down, Michelle. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Brings up third and one. First carry for Damian Harris, the Alabama man. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They tried their best to pick up that third and one, but their surge wasn't enough to counteract what came back at them from the defensive side, was it? Offensive line, especially in the middle, looked like they were on skates a little bit when that one started. So now we bring up fourth and inches. This would be a critical call. And the 13-year man puts it through. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And he fires one incomplete. Zay Jones was the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Throwing now is Allen. And that's complete to Brown. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Allen now just 7 of 15 so far, but he's got a first and 10. Here's Allen. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. It's a loss of 10 yards on the play. After the penalty, it's Yeldon. The veteran Jamie Collins there on the tackle. This is a draw play. Allen gives to Singletary. Give him five yards on the run there, but it'll leave him with a definite third and long on the horizon. Play action. Now it's Allen. He finds his target, John Brown. They get a big amount back, 18 yards, but they'll still look at a fourth down now. Boy, they had a lot of real estate to make up there, but what a big-time play for them. Nice completion, excellent game. Now they're in fourth and manageable. Just a little short, though, with that marker. The spotlight now focuses on the quarterback, and that's Tom Brady. And they must have seen something leading up to this one that said, hey, we're going to be able to go deep because they've gone deep with a lot of success. And pick your phrase, pick your code words, your buzzwords, whatever, vertical stretch, deep passes, go routes, right? What, what's that Fly? route you love? What's that oh, route you four love? Four verts. Four verts. Yeah. All of it working because they're able to find ways to get deep and for him to show off that big, big arm. We see some of that big arm right here. He has been great. They begin with Michelle on the ground. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. From the gun, they run with Michelle. 
And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. First down. The first carry now for Rex Burkhead. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. On second down, Michelle. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. New England on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and seven. Brady now to throw. And he will find his man for the first time, Demarius Thomas. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. Brady now on first down. And Thomas has it. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. At the 46-yard line. Now Brady. He's got a man complete. It's Julian Edelman. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Brady now. 13 of 15 passing. That's good for 87%. It's first and 10. This is Michelle on the counter. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. Keeping it on the ground on first, Michelle. They'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Brady going to throw. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Ed Oliver in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. From the gun, it's Brady. He'll check this one down to Michelle. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Brady again here on second and ten. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now Brady again. That's caught. It's Thomas. And they'll rally and stop him short of the first down at about the six. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Well, the passing game right now for them, not overly impressive. Last week he hit on right at 50%. This week, he's under 50%. And it's not just on him. Protection, few breakdowns along the way. It's made him get off the spot. Receivers not getting their way open downfield. The coverage has been awfully tight. They've got to all get together and find ways to make this passing game get in gear. Now Allen. And that is incomplete. 
I know coaches tell us all the time to have a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Patriots take over. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. You're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. And Brady's throw there incomplete. Dontrell Inman, the intended target. And now it's second down. Brady will try again on second down. Looking for Edelman, and he hits him. It's complete. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Again, they'll throw with Brady. That's out to his running back, Michelle. A three-yard gain and enough for the first down. Throwing on first down is Brady. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Here's Brady to throw. It's hauled in here by Edmund. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Brady to throw again. And that's complete. It's Watson. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So they will tread backward on the holding penalty. And I know that they're going to get coached up and they'll get yelled out a little bit, but let's face it, it is hard not to do at the speed and pace that they play. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. Now T.J. Yeldon, and he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. The weather might be cold, but the playoff races are heating up. Here on this we now proceed to the start of the second half. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he'd taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. All right, we shift our attention now to Benjamin Watson. And we peek at some of his work from this game where he's nearing 100 yards. And haven't we gotten pretty close in this game nowadays in the NFL to almost taking labels off of the tight end position? These guys now can be the number one option in an offense, and that never used to be the case. So now how do you even match up with them? Cornerback, safety, linebacker, all three will have deficiencies against the best tight ends in the game. Tremaine Edmonds, the Bills' leading tackler as a rookie last year, in on the stop there. 
Again, it's Michelle. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. Brady. Complete to Watson, the tight end. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. A give to Burkhead on first down. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. On second and 11 now. Brady, slant route, caught by Edelman. And getting this just shy of midfield, he'll spot it at the 49. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. Brady nearing the 300-yard mark with still a quarter to play. It's first and 10. And opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. Brady hands off to Burkhead. He fights forward for a couple with a penalty flag down. And the linemen, they're already walking back. So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle. He'll get two yards back, but it's going to leave him with a long third and 13. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. To throw, it's Brady. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. So no problems moving the ball in the first half, but they'll likely come up empty here on drive one of quarter three. And it was so important for the defense to get that stop because what we witnessed in the first half was them getting run over. And they needed the confidence, and they needed to get off the field so they felt good going forward in this game. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. They'll start out on the ground. It's T.J. Yeldon. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On play action, now Brady. He's going to air one out. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Now Brady looking again for Thomas, this time complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. This quarterback now over 300 yards now for the game and time to improve on that as he's got a first and 10. A give, this is Michelle. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Brady going to give this one to Burkhead. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Hey, hey, hey. Four down, four 
On second down now, Michelle. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Throwing is Brady on third down. And he will have a man, Demarius Thomas. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 12-yard line. He's come a long way since his time at Georgia Tech. What did he run at Tech? He ran hitches and, and go routes, essentially. Yeah. I mean, but he ran them really well. He averaged well over 20 yards a catch while he was there. And he still creates downfield in the NFL. That big body and that willingness to go catch the football. He's pretty impressive. And his friends call him Bebe, the nickname his uncle gave him back in the day. On second down, Michelle. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. From the gun on third down, Brady. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Benjamin Watson with touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first the score. That doesn't game. happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Goskowski the extra point, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all, and it ends with a New England touchdown. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. It's caught, Jones. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. A good pick up there, a 22. Draw play, this is Yeldon. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. No gain on the play. Second and on second down, it's Edwards. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. On play action, Allen. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. A 58-yard Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. The 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Patriots. As his guys are in for six. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. We talk about it a lot. One of the dangers of the long field goal, you got to kind of hit it low and drive it. 
That makes it susceptible to a block here. Not only do they block it, they return it. And how about how well they did on the return where they didn't create a penalty? Oftentimes in that type of a scrambling situation, someone will clip, someone will block below the waist, right? You name it. In this case, though, that didn't happen. They formed it up, and he took it all the way back for a touchdown. Goskowski with the extra point, and the lead is now 24. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Here we go. Here we go. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. Allen now, five straight completions here in this second half. First and 10. This is Yeldon. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Now flags will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. That's going to set him back five yards. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. They'll run a draw now with Singletary. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. One quarter remains here in week 16. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Allen going to try and throw on third down. And the throw there going to be incomplete. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. And it is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Patriots take over. They're going to have terrific field position. Well, they've clearly made a conscious decision here to be more aggressive in the late stages of this game here in the second half. And I get it. In this situation, you know, if you want to be aggressive out near midfield, you feel good about your defense maybe, or just, hey, I thought I had a proper play call. But how about the guys that just stopped them? How good do they feel right now? Uh, hey, you want to go for it here? We shut you down. They're over on the bench right now feeling great. They'll run it. This is Michelle. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. the passer defense. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Second and goal from inside the five. Now Michelle, and he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Throwing now is Brady. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. And Goskowski's kick is good. And that'll push the lead from 24 up to 27. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. 
But good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Lawrence Guy, make that now eight sacks for him on the season. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Here's Allen to throw it. He completes it to Jones. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Oh, yeah. It'll be a pickup of 16, but they'll remain short of the marker, and it's fourth down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They'll run for it. It's Edwards. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Ten yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. They'll go back to Edwards on first down. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. A gain of nine brings up second and one. At the Patriots, 49-yard On second down, here's Yeldon. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. From midfield, here's Allen. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. Dante Hightower able to record his fifth sack of the season. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest ones, maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. Now they go for it on fours, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. Uh, being just short of midfield, they decide to take a crack at it on fourth down. They don't come through. Sometimes it's just showing confidence in your defense. You know that they're good, and they'll take care of you. A lot of coaches during the week will announce to their team, we're going to be aggressive, guys. We're going to go for it. Hey, defense, you got me? A little bit of a challenge to them to see if they'll pick up the rest of the team. Let's we'll see how they respond now. On second and 11 now, Brady. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. It's a game of three. Brings up Brady now going to leave it with Michelle on the draw. And he stopped up short of the first as they tackle him down at about the 36. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. And how might this affect him for the playoffs? We'll get a report when we come back. So out comes the field goal team once more. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And that is no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, they can probably live with that with this late lead in the fourth quarter. That's one of the few things that's gone wrong. You're exactly right. This one was well in hand. That kick there was more for cosmetics, you know, to add to their score. Not getting it, that shouldn't harm them at all. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory but the other guys held up. <laughs> they didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold up. But he up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own sideline. Well, we'll see what his offense Holding can do. Offense. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. To throw, it's Allen. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. A shotgun handoff now to Yeldon. 
He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. On third and long, it's Allen. They go with the screen. It's Yeldon. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And it'll be fourth down. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. They'll run. This is Burkhead. And he'll take this forward for two, maybe three. But we do have a flag down, and they're already marching backward. Now Burkhead, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Throwing on second and long. Brady caught. It's Dontrell Inman. And they'll get him down here at the 23. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Brings up third and seven. Let's get him. On third down, they turn to Burkhead. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. I'm going to hit you all The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. To return is Roberts. A big boot that time. 57 yards the official distance. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Throwing now is Allen. That one complete to Yeldon. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. Allen. And he finds Beasley complete. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week trying to get some momentum going. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Allen going to throw. Got a man. It's Brown. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. That throw good for four. It's second down. To throw again on second down. Allen. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just learn how to lead the game out that way. Here's Allen. Jones has it. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. It's a gain of 23 yards. First down, Bill. Allen now on first down. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Lawrence Guy in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. He finds Yeldon. A gain of four on the play, and that'll make it third and 13. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. He gets it to Brown, complete. 15 yards that time, and a Buffalo first. Allen going to come to the line here, first and 10, and he's 6 of 7 now on this drive. From the gun, it's Allen. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Robert Foster, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. An incomplete pass on first down, that leads to a second and 10. Allen now looks to throw. And this one caught by Beasley. 
And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Here's Hauschka for the extra point. And the lead is down to 20. Makes the score. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. This one fielded at the five. Let's go! So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, Tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So for the Patriots, they're now a win away from a perfect regular season as they move to 15-0. and And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for Buffalo, they're guaranteed now a sub-500 season as they fall to 6-9. and And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.